Well, it was actually, like I said, about four, four years ago, I went back uh, to Indonesia and uh, was thinking about opening up a business there and saw a lot of uh, cocoa trees. So the idea came about, why, why not chocolate, basically? So I uh, came back here and the curiosity led me, to, led me to buy equipment, making it at home. And once I, I actually didn't turn out very good. <laughs> so I ended up going to school for uh, how to make chocolate. Uh, it's an online course. Um, I would very highly recommend that one too mm -hmm. for people. Uh, and then once I get a pretty good idea on how to make it, then I got together with my partner and basically said, hey, what do you think about this? And uh, from that, actually, we saw even more interesting that how do we end up with single origin? Uh, is we don't, even though Indonesia, we both are from Indonesia, and okay. Indonesia is the third largest producer of cacao, uh, cocoa in the world, but yet there's nobody, we cannot find Indonesian beans here. So that led us to believe, you know what, let's bring, because there's a lot of variety in Indonesia, so we can bring, um, you know, good products here, here and make good chocolate out of it. So we both are Fresno State graduates and both went to engineering school um, and we both happen to be from Indonesia. We played soccer together. So it's been, I think I've known Johannes, my partner, for at least uh, 15, 16 years, maybe. So. Okay. Yeah, and the fact that we don't have anybody here, it's just, we're family also, so we can, you know, business partner, family, friends, all together. Even though it's delicious, it's a, the, the way to make it, it could be a pretty messy, so making it at home, I mean, you're talking about uh, using my wife's hair dryer mm -hmm. to uh, all her cooking, you know, uh, silver, or whatever stuff that she used to cook, and in the backyard just making it like that and then when I go to school then they start introducing okay you know what you cannot grind cacao with just a regular uh, grinder for example or a mm -hmm. coffee grinder um, and so we learn about equipment learn about you know um, different things that you have to look for the temperature how temperature affects flavor right. and um, basically learn the scientific part of it you know I think I would say we're improving, but definitely we're, we know we have room to improve still, you know. And yeah. with the equipment, uh, a lot of the craft chocolate uh, depends a lot on the equipment. So uh, at the same time, we use our, you know, intuition to say, is this good enough flavor-wise? That, that's the reason why the first route we go is farmer's market, is we feel that we have to explain this. This is more, I mean, chocolate, people are always familiar with chocolate, but why is our chocolate so different? Well, I would say the number one thing is it comes down to ingredients. Uh, when you, when we go to learn about making chocolate, they always say you make chocolate using four ingredients. So cacao, obviously, sugar, and soy lecithin, and vanilla. So we took it to the extreme, well, let's just reduce even those, you know, vanilla and soy lecithin. So let's just use cacao and sugar. So we want to highlight the bean flavor. So that's the main difference, really. Uh, and obviously we, we use very high content cacao and single origin cacao so people are surprised when they taste our chocolate and then they get wow this is tastes nutty this mm -hmm. tastes fruity this tastes uh you know mocha or something like that so it's a uh, it's an experience you know for people so that's why we feel we have to explain you know yeah. and and the route to go uh, is farmer's market really so yeah the feedback has been great for pe from people especially ever since we went to food expo uh, people picked us as the best new product at the food expo so the exposure really helped a lot yeah, yeah. from the mayor coming over and really <laughs> uh, showering us with a lot of you know praise and bringing people to our booth to just you know random people and actually even businesses coming up and hey you know we can help you with this we can help you with that so it's yeah. been great it's been it's been amazing yeah I always say I'm biased because I'm from Indonesia, but I like Indonesia because it tastes nutty. I, I'm, I like more nutty flavors, more than you know, fruity flavors, I guess. So I pick the Indonesian, you know, as my favorite. So my partner would say he probably picked Dominican Republic. I think I heard him say that before, but <laughs> I, I picked the Indonesian. Yeah.